A Pakistan International Airlines plane with more than 100 people on board has crashed into a residential area in the city of Karachi. The plane was flying from Lahore when it came down near Modal Colony. It's a neighbourhood of Karachi, right near Jinnah International Airport. Large crowds have gathered at the scene, as you can see here. Ambulances are really struggling, we understand, to get to the site of the crash. And local hospitals have declared a state of emergency. This crash comes just days after the country began allowing commercial flights to resume. They have had a coronavirus lockdown in Pakistan as well. Let's take you straight there now. We can join the BBC Sahar Balak, who is in Islamabad for us. Sahar, what are you hearing from the scene? We've seen pictures of large crowds. We understand it's difficult for ambulance to get there. What are you hearing? Yes, so far from the scene, what I'm hearing is that a lot of people are finding it difficult to get to the people who have been uh, attacked uh, by the crash and everything. So what uh, is happening is that the ambulances are finding it very difficult to reach to the places, especially the place where the uh, plane uh, crashed. Uh, and a few houses and a few cars were also burnt to uh, uh, burnt in flames as well. Uh, so what uh, there is also an update in this. Uh, the aviation spokesperson has said basically that the flight that uh, that took off from Lahore and was uh, in Karachi uh, basically had uh, 99 uh, people on board, uh, not 107 as they reported earlier. So they have updated this information as well. And at the same time, what they are saying is uh, that right now they are trying to investigate the cause of uh, the incident and why it happened. Uh, so, so far, people are basically, uh, there's a lot of speculation going on, but nothing confirmed so far. Uh, an audio clip has uh, uh, just now been aired on a local television in which uh, the captain has, uh, the uh, pilot of the plane can be here speaking to the uh, tower, uh, uh, call tower, uh, uh, basically uh, making a mayday call and asking them that the one of the engines of the plane uh, stopped working. So this was one of the last of uh, calls that, that were made and it was after a minute uh, that the plane basically uh, uh, crashed. Uh, and, and there are so far, uh, uh, so far a lot of uh, deaths are being presumed, but nothing has been confirmed so far. Uh, but so far what we, what we can confirm is that there are 99 people on board and out of which only one has survived so far, which the local uh, channels are also reporting but right this now. this plane came down in a residential area. Is there anyone being killed on the ground? Yes, so far a lot of people have been taken uh, to uh, to the local hospital and uh, two deaths have been confirmed by the hospital. So far 14 bodies, uh, sorry, uh, 20 bodies have been taken to uh, Jinnah Hospital uh, and an emergency has already been declared over there. So uh, uh, the deaths are still being confirmed. Some people have sur survived, but uh, it is being presumed that there are serious injuries as well. Uh, so, so far uh, only two deaths have been confirmed, one of a minor and one of an elderly person. Uh, but so far nothing can be said. Uh, unless and until the hospital uh, releases, uh, you know, more information on this. And so have more people been travelling in Pakistan since some of those lockdown restrictions have been lifted and also because of Eid? Yes, actually on May 16th, uh, uh, the restriction on the domestic flights basically was uplifted after, uh, was lifted basically because there were a lot of calls for people who were going to uh, go to their hometowns uh, uh, around Eid and a lot of people were basically trying to reach their homes around that time and it was because of that that some restricted and very, uh, uh, on restrict, uh, restricted schedules, some domestic flights were basically given a go away, a go ahead and that was the reason that a lot of flights from Karachi, Lahore, Islamabad, Peshawar, Quetta, basically five different cities of the country uh, were basically taking, uh, taking people to different cities as well. And it was one of these flights that was coming from Lahore to Karachi, which uh, unfortunately crashed on its way back. Uh, and this is also like one of the things that we have seen is that, uh, that uh, Pakistan has had a checkered history uh, with aviation. Uh, a lot of flights have, uh, uh, you know, crash landed or at times burnt in flames midair. Uh, like in 2016, there was a flight that was coming back from northern Pakistan to Islamabad, uh, which basically burnt in, in midair, uh, killing around 47 people. So this has happened in the past. There was no such thing uh, being reported before, uh, like, you know, for, for two, three years. But this has basically come as a shock to many people. Absolutely. And it sounds like a terrible situation on the ground there as well with that state of emergency in place. Saha, thank you very much for joining us with that from Islamabad and any developments we will bring them straight to you.